And we're back. And about to fight the final boss. She or he or whatever it is is quite tough. This is not my first time. I had to make some changes. Welcome Hopefully this works. Just check something before I do that. Oh, I can unlock something else now. This is cool. This guy's a pain. What's this? This guy. Immaculate score. Sacred damage. I confirm this guy now. Sorry to disappoint, Lambach, but it will have to be a no. You said you knew where the piece of the Helium was. We did not lie. The previous bearer of the artifact reached our chamber to defy us. The relic you want joined the Wii. You may enter in contact with it once you have provided us your organic mass, for it is inside of us. You ate it? Oh, come on, Lambach. I've had enough of your games. We finish this right now. We are, why is there a glitch on here, man? to move This is a creepy guy. Can't manage that right now. I can't shoot these things, can I? No. Guys, I'm vulnerable. Nice. Still invulnerable. Your 
Need more power. Jeez, okay. Farewell, Lambak. Finally. This better be worth it. Stuck in the guy's nose. Boss defeated. Give me all of this stuff, please. Thank you. What do we get? Level 33 pistol. More damage? Not so much. A bit of damage. Got fire damage. Yeah, 32 and something. 31 and 70. Also good. New trousers. Pants or whatever. Movement speed. Yeah, this is probably better. Much better. Rage conservation attack, critical damage. Have some life leech, it has some attack speed, good damage. This has poison. Material, I'm a chance, toxic. Fire, critical attack chance. Resource generation. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to go for these two. Anyway. Give the first piece of the Hellion to Garness in his camp. I will do that. Where's that guy? There he is. Is there no other way? The more you resist our prayers, the longer it will take you, you, you to back. heal. Tell me you have some good news. I got the first piece of the Hellion. Impressive. I told you. As long as one of us is left standing, hope remains. Now, you've secured a chance to stop Fury's ascent. We almost died back there. Val, how do you feel? Mm. I'm getting better, thanks to their witchcraft. Unfortunately, resting isn't an option. We have to join my brothers garrisoned at the Vault of Truth, where the second half of the Hellion awaits. Once it's whole again, they will march with us on the Republican fortress of Crimson Keep. You're quick to speak of war for a man that was recently wounded. We ascended are gifted with imbued resilience. So I hear. Still, it will take more than us alone to make our way to the ritual. How do you even know the conflux of energies is inside the Crimson Keep? When my order first saw the signs of Fury's ascent, we studied them. And it led us there. You were part of the Brotherhood operation that attacked it. We didn't attack it. 
We wanted to approach the strange structure in its center that Republicans call the monolith and study the signs of Fury's ascent to stop the ritual before it even began. However, when we arrived, the monolith activated. Demonic spawns of fury started appearing, pacifying Republican and Brotherhood soldiers alike, and sending them against those that resisted. I managed to escape due to my abilities, but Crimson Keep fell to the pacification soon after, now protecting the ritual place and Araman's coming. Crimson Keep? We used to hear rumors about it, about this strange monolith too. It's a remote fortress in the Northern Barrens known as the Red Wastes, yes? Yeah, it checks out. This fortress is known even amongst Republicans for its secrecy. I'm not surprised that they were using it to quarantine this monolith. Well, we know what we have to do. Hand me the piece of the Hellion and get ready to depart. The road ahead won't be pleasant. Very nice. Got some belts here. Shadow damage added to spells. That's useless. Attack speed. Physical damage added to attacks, rain damage, shadow damage to spells, occult, attack critical chance. That's not bad. Force, elemental or resistance. They're all very expensive. Toxic, sacred, occult, material resistance. Elemental or resistance score, health force, ailment. Level 3 support. I think that's the way to go. We will use that. This is a what? A light blue support 3. Stasis chance score with ether damage. 16% weakness chance score with sacred damage. I don't even know if I don't do ether damage. Um, I mean sacred damage, I think. Launch the event. I think it's going to be like one final battle or something. One huge battle. Possibly. I don't know. If it loads us in, of course. Why is this taking so long? Finally, goodness. No matter the odds. We have to journey north, all the way north. There, the Hellion shall be made whole again. My brethren, the army of truth seekers will join forces with us. We shall march to stop Fury's ascent. 
one final push that will determine the fate of mankind. Okay, this is now the end, I guess. Yes, it is. What are they doing? Just chilling there. Wrong? I'm not sure. We've reached the Vault of Truth. Let's go. Agreed. We could all use some rest. We won't find rest down there. What are they waiting for, out in the open? And if that does not give you pause, then the yellow smoke should. What is it? Some kind of signal? It means that their halls have been breached. We will take a different path. We built a network of caves among the vault's foundations when hostilities with the Republic were at their peak. Fallback shrines in case something went wrong. We should find one of these nearby. Okay. Taking a different path. Oh, well, we could probably go right, but I'm just going to go left for now. A lit brazier. This shrine is occupied. Who goes there? Identify yourself! Stand aside, boy. Where is your commander? Near... near the campfire. Stand aside, boy. You think we did the right thing? Abandoning our brethren like that? You've seen it as much as I do. Ganez? Is that you? Gendris, you made it, brother. Are you the ranking officer? I was. But you are now, Eos. What happened up there? Several weeks ago, a demonic spawn of a new kind revealed itself to us. It introduced itself as Sinadrahel, Herald of the Blind Prince. My brethren tried to banish it, but it didn't even have to fight back. It just changed them. They seemingly lost the will to fight, becoming thrall to its will. Soon, most of us fell to its magic. The pacification. It has begun. What is that? Fury's ascent. As Araman's summoning approaches, the cult of the Blind Prince gets stronger and bolder. Sanadrahel leads the first of waves of legions to come. Lady's mercy. We have to warn what's left of our armies and... And what? Fuel Araman's ranks further? There is not time for that. We act now. What's in your mind? Was the inner sanctum breached? No. I sealed it myself before leading those I could convince down there. Good. We'll assemble the Hellion and use its power to stop Araman's conjuring. You can't mean it. Oh, trust me. I do. What does that mean? You haven't told them, have you? No wonder they agreed to this. What will happen if we use the Hellion? Ganez? Anathea. The Lady of Dawn herself created the Hellion by imbuing part of herself into it. She gave it to our ancestors so that we would have a weapon to summon her powers to defend mankind if everything else had failed. This weapon only ever served once, several centuries ago. While it fulfilled its function and brought victory, something else happened that we could not anticipate. Its use broke something. We still do not know why it happened to this day, but conjuring Anathea's powers for just a few seconds opened an abyssal rift far to the north, easing the passing of demonic entities from the abyss into this world. In saving themselves, they put at risk all future generations. Realizing that the price to pay was too big, our ancestors broke the Hellion in half and hid its pieces in two vaults, forbidding its reconstruction. It's too risky, Ganez. Only a madman would wield such power. I don't care much for that mumbo-jumbo. The way I see it, the pacification has already started. Republicans have fallen to it in Crimson Keep, and now your precious vault is already turned. And Araman isn't even here. We hardly have the luxury to play it safe. Ganez, you should have told us. But she's right. One man has a plan, the other has doubts. I go with the plan. This is blasphemous. We will do what must be done, brother. We will stop Araman, with or without your help. I... I don't know. We can't take that decision. The stakes are too high. 
We cannot wait for them to make up their mind. I will prepare a prayer to shield my men and Valeria against the pacification for the battle to come. Meanwhile, you move into the vault and get the Hellion's second piece. Wait, won't I be pacified? You're an Ascended. Act like one. You will resist it, and you will prevail. Now, go. Attune yourself to the Searing Song's altar at the end of each of the vault's wings, and unseal the inner sanctum. There you shall find what we seek. Good luck, brother. Jeez, okay. What is this place? Ah, okay, so it's not even... we still got a lot to go. The game's not even close to being done yet. I think. It's a good thing, I guess. On my own again. All right, let's find that vault. Let's find the vault. The secret way in. I must attune to the Lady of Dawn before that gate opens. Attune to the Lady of Dawn. I will see. There's a nefarious magic echoing through these walls. The cult of the Blind Prince has been hung. I need more power. Ouch. Use your pants, got a great sword, let's check the pants. Level 33, nice. We should probably take this. Health or resistance score. Yes, let's take it. Okay, so this is defense one and two. Sacred resistance, occult resistance score. Gonna park one in there for now. Just for now. up with this guy. Got some more trousers here. More trousers. Okay. 56. All resistance. Attack speed, health, all resistance. This is probably the one. I think this is the way. This is the way to go. I can't manage that right now. Let's unturn some of these stones. boots and what do I have that's still kind of like a low score 29 in the 30s with these guys okay so my rings level 21 or something 
Twenty-nine. Thirty-three. Am I ringing my helmet? I seriously thought that that was the final boss fight. No jokes. I thought that was going to be the final, you know, fight. I need more power. Doing so much damage. So much damage. It's crazy. Rather quiet level. pistol. This one is level 33 as well. Physical damage. Shock almond damage. I'm going to use that one. What I had in mind. And we're good. And we made it. Finally. I can feel her energy. Hope is on our side. Can't do 
that right now. What is this? That can't be done. Supposed to do? She's not doing much, is she? Base sorcerer's boots. Goodness, that's a lot of stuff. Spell casting speed. I don't need that because I do not cast spells. Twenty-one. I need to go sell this stuff. Something is watching me. I can feel it. I should move on. Sorcerer's helmet. Level 33. Call toughness, ailment chance. Four shield. I think we're gonna go for this. So it's way better than what I have. So much damage is ridiculous. Sometimes during these battles, I can't find my mouse cursor. I know it's weird, but I can't. Okay, 302 health, full shield, goodness, okay. This is great. Very great. I love it. I'm just running through these guys now. Crazy toxic damage. Okay, what does this do? Level 33. I've got two level 30. No, I don't. A cold ferocity. 170 health. Yes. Take that. Thank you. Heavy pants. Don't need that stuff. I think was gonna happen. They'll never see it coming. What is that a new skill?
going to put everything in there for now. Can't do that. What is this new skill that we got here? This pistol thing. Turn on multiple shots and hover or click on enemies to target them. Projectiles are launched when the channeling ends for the maximum targets are selected. That is pretty cool. I'm kind of happy with what I have at the moment. Can't manage that right now. Yellow die. Dude, I've got so many gold, so much gold. I'm so rich. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I literally just missed out on on all my stuff. Can I go back there? Please tell me I can go back. Can I? Come on, man. Oh well. It is what it is. Something doesn't feel right. Skill point. Let's just feed this to something. Passive dodge, max health and stuff. Or within six meter radius. Okay, so this is kind of like a distance thing, like we did earlier. Projectile, agility, movement speed. Let's just go for projectile damage, I guess. from health, projectile damage, and melee weapon damage. Wait a minute. Stun chance score with physical and score with frost. Okay, I don't have any of that. Can do frost. Passive dodge chance score. I'm just gonna go with projectile damage. I cannot be bothered at the moment. Another 10 of this. Let's 
skill wise. We're good to go. They locked themselves up in the inner sanctum to protect it, but got pacified nonetheless. I should be glad that no entities have entered to take control. The second piece. I know you're around. Show yourself, Sinadrahel. Ascended. Give up your anger. Give up your fears. Let me soothe your pain. I can bring you peace. You took your time to show up. I needed you to open the inner sanctum, and you did not disappoint. If you came here for the Hellion, I'm afraid your disappointment has just begun. Oh, is that so? I attuned to her light. As long as I stand, the inner sanctum will answer me. You need not to fall, only to turn. Give me your wrath. All of it. Only peace shall remain. You will be an even better slave than the one you call Father. No! No. Obey, slave! I thought Ariman would have sent his best. Yet here you are, a mere underling. You can't defeat me. Do not worry. The demons of fury will ineluctably pour from the abyss once the blind prince is here. Until then, our allies shall make short work of you. Alzarath, Lothai, join me. No, Alzarath. We take that one together. This demon slayer is not to be trifled with. <laughs> now we feast. You're telling me I'm fighting all three of them? I really thought my ego mattered in the least. Mortals killing mortals for war, greed, envy. We will end it all soon. Until then, slaughter each other. Their doom is your doing. You only bring death and misery in your wake. You're a raging disease that we... I need more power. Their doom is your doing. You only bring death and misery in your wake. You're a raging disease that we shall cure this day. It's not happening. That's one, I think.
this world. Go back to your master. Tell him he's next. No. Well, that was crazy. Fighting all three? It's nuts, man. Seriously crazy stuff. Level 33. 444 shield. Health regeneration. Elemental. Elemental damage. This also is 33. 10 crit hit chance or resistance score on this item. This is just I'm gonna keep this the way it is. And now you have already unlocked this die. Okay, so I can sell that then. Okay, back to Ganez. The Hellion will be whole again. Let me just quickly sell my stuff to Mahabi. Browse my wares. Browse my wares, Mahabi. You know, Mahabi is always the best value. Level 33. Toughness. Critical chance score. Four shield generation. I think I'm I'm good, man. Don't forget about me, adventurer. Yes. We won't. Ah, oh, of course, I need to travel to Gurness. Gernes, I did my part. Here's the second piece. It's on you to make something out of it. The power of the Searing Song at one's command. Let the Hellion fulfill its function once again. Anathea, may your light break Fury's ascent. So much power is contained within. A glimpse of her energy. Good. We have the weapon. We were supposed to have an army of truth seekers at our back to clear the way to the monolith. How are we going to get through the thick walls of Crimson Keep with so few left? While you were gathering the second piece, we've been busy trying to find a way in. We will turn chaos to our advantage. As we speak, the Third Purifier's Legion is laying siege to Crimson Keep to try to regain control of it from the pacified troops inside. Republicans of the Senate against Republicans of Araman. In time, the Senate will lose the whole Legion. And worse than that, they will all end up pacified. And yet, the mayhem they cause is a blessing, keeping our common enemy busy while we make our way in. Wait a minute. You plan to have us cross Republican siege lines before even reaching Crimson Keep? Correct. It is the only way to seize the momentum that the Purifiers are unknowingly building. The Daybreakers will move with me to strike the Republican lines first. They will send troops to stop us, but we will storm through to get to the Crimson Keep's main gate. Meanwhile, you should meet less resistance as you go your own way through the trenches. Reach the Keep's walls, find a way to their top, cut your way through pacified thralls, and open the main gates. We will meet you in front of the monolith. Using the battlefield's chaos to our advantage is a double-edged sword, Gennes. Still, you are right. This is bold enough to work. Valeria will join you. It cannot hurt to have Fury on your side, too. Oh, and, uh... Thank you. Thank you for everything. Daybreakers, we march to war! One with the light! One with the light!
So you're not a Republican anymore, but you still dress like one? A dead one. And you plan to confront their Grand Inquisitor? There. Hemlock works for the Covenant of the Blind and Araman. Probably always has. He's as much a Republican as I am now. If stories about him are true, I hope you don't cross paths with him. For your sake. I know what to expect now. Well, I hope I haven't been muted for too long. Just figured out my um, mic has been muted. Damn it. So this is it. We march to war against the Purifiers, against the Covenant of the Blind, against Fury itself. Looks like it. You know the plan? I know their plan, all right. What about ours? What do you mean, ours? We open the gate. I'm talking about Hemlock. You know he will be out there. Opening the gate is one thing, but we have to rat him out and finish this. One way or another. I know, sister. We end everything this time. No matter the odds? No matter the odds. Brother, I'm proud to do this at your side. Me too, Val. We'll get through this together. Let's go. I saw this beam's origin below Cordonon. Following it will lead us straight to Crimson Key. At least there's no way to get lost. I will take this. Got some new heavy pants. here now. I can't do that right now. Show me what you got. You think you can still save him? He is not possessed. Small difference. I disagree. He willfully put himself in the service of Araman. I don't see why he would do that, but he did. There is no saving him from himself, is there? Frankly, I don't know. We have awakened his will to resist. He's fighting back against Araman's control, even if that does bring him immeasurable pain. Maybe we should assist him to break free, rather than put him down. He turned Edric against you. He abandoned me when he could have stopped Malus. Even if we could bring him back, I'm not sure I could forgive what he did to us. You judge the Grand Inquisitor. I see a prisoner of his own mind striving for moments of freedom. Would you have done any better? Would I? I wouldn't have made a pact with Araman in the first place. Get your point. Literally just running through this. Not possible. 
his belt. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with that or change that. How do you break a pact, anyway? I have no clue. But if anyone can succeed, it will be him. We have to be hopeful. Party members will be teleported, yes. Daybreakers! Remember what we fight for. One with the light! One with the light! The diversion has started. We should hurry. They're counting on us to open the main gate. Okay. It looks cool from top here, wow. shots nearby. Careful now, we've reached their back line. These are Federator cannons. I could recognize their thunder anywhere. Purifiers brought big artillery this far north. Seems that the Senate will spare no expense to get its kit back. I can't do that right now. Or something. I feel stronger. What can we do? Do we have skills? Yes, we do. Gonna max that out. One more point, which we're gonna put into... We don't need health. I think we should go for something like 
Attack speed, movement speed, that's not bad. And that. Um, what else we've got? We've got skill points. Ooh, we'll do a lot more now. Projectiles launched by explode when they hit an enemy, dealing damage in the area of effect. Okay. Number of projectiles. Yeah, let's increase those. A chance, which cost skill weapon damage. There we go. One more on this. What's this? Skill weapon damage. We'll take that. Forty percent ammo damage. Kill weapon damage. There's one at six. Gonna improve the cooldown, and now we're good to go. Not possible. It's not happening. Relax. How much is that like that? Where is she down? Is there more one of those baddies behind us? Scorpions? The chest beats. I need more power. Can't be bothered with these little small minions anymore. That's a siege. Then expect fortifications. Let's just hope the Daybreaker's diversion worked. Only one way to know for sure.
these little spitters are a pain in the ass. And I can't hit them for some reason. Not possible. Well, we've got quite a few stops to go, so I would suggest that we end this one here and finish up the last episode in the final one. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you then.